Hello Blades fans and welcome to a brand new episode of the Sheffield United podcast. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold while I sound a bit different. Uh, today I'm just going to be talking about the rumours about Phil Jagielka. I did put on Twitter, I'll be doing a five my top five moments as a Sheffield United fan. That is in process, as you'd say. Um, so Phil Jagielka, there's been loads of things going around Twitter, Facebook... Every site it's about him supposedly signing some um, transfer rumoured pages on Twitter have been saying he's in talks apparently. So I'm just going to start laying out the facts. One fact is there's no way he could be talking to United in person at the minute because he's in Marbella and I don't think he's come back from holiday yet. There's rumours saying he was going to be signed in the Monday to Today I'm recording this is the Tuesday, so he obviously hasn't signed. I uh, we just I think there's a lot of deluded United fans out there who think he's gonna sign. Don't get me wrong, I'd love him to sign. He's not I don't even know if he's actually a free agent because I don't think Everton have released him. So therefore we will have to pay us some of money and his wage. Apparently he's willing to have a wage cut. But we're gonna think he's probably on fifty plus grand a week, sixty grand a week. There's no chance in this world Sheffield United are going to pay that money. And it'll be a bit on. He'll go against what Chris Wilder wishes to do with his team. He, he doesn't want to buy, he doesn't want to spend money on these players or big wages. We're not going to be the only club interested. There's going to be other clubs interested, maybe some Premier League clubs, lower Premier League clubs, for example. The ones that got promoted, like Brighton, Newcastle. They might want him, you know, Huddersfield might want him, a club like Bournemouth might want him, and they, they're they able to pay his wage. Obviously, he's got loyalties for the club, but we've got to be realistic. Can we really see it happening? Yeah, I just can't see it happening. I'd love it to happen. It'd be an excellent addition. But, you know, the cost of it, it's not, yeah, can't see it happening. You've got to just realise that we are being very unrealistic, we've been a bit deluded at the minute and to be honest I was caught up in it because all these rumours about and when you think about it, you need to think about it, there's some Sheffield United fans out there that are just, they're just bit all bewildered about it because we've won promotion and stuff like that but we're not, we can't afford him, there's no chance we can afford him all the rumours are saying we're in talks with him, there's been photoshops of Sheffield United putting a tweet out but then after that if you follow me on Twitter, you can see I put three screenshots. One tweet was saying how he's signed as office signing, and there was another two saying them two that that tweet is false, completely false. So that's coming from Sheffield United. There's been no other rumours from from proper sources like Sky Sky Sports and stuff like that. Some betting websites have apparently taken bets off, but. My opinion, if I'm wrong, I'll apologise, and I'm I'm sounding a bit negative, but for me to be honest, I can't see Phil Jagielka joining the club, even though it'd be an excellent signing, and is it what we need? We do need a centre back, you know, he's, he's ageing now, I don't think he's just, I don't think he's Chris Wilder type of player, even though he'd love to come back, and if he did come back, would he be captain or would he be really sharp? Yeah, so that's all I've got to say. Thank you for listening if you listen. I know it's only a short video because I was just going to talk about Phil Jagielka and the situation surrounding it as this is the biggest news of Sheffield United. Also, we're going to keep on going, actually, because we've signed George Baldock uh, right back from MK Dons, who's about 23 years old. Could be a good backup for Kieran Freeman. Might be a good player, got to say. Not seen anything of him. Uh, he's at a good age, and he's talking about how Carruthers is going to be good in the championship. But so, um, George Baldock, he might be good. I hope he is good. But he's another right back. We need a right back, and actually, I think that spells for John Brayford, who apparently isn't the minute talking to United about what his his future is going to be like. But I think that's the pavement of John Brayford going. I really do. So yeah, that was a signing, and nothing else is really happening with transfers at the minute. So yeah, <laughs> now I can say thank you for listening. 
if you want to be on this podcast, please message me in the comments on Twitter. My link will be in the low. Um, also, mention your favourite top five moments of being a Sheffield United fan in the comments. That'd be very much appreciated. So, thanks for listening. See you next video. Bye. I ain't working till 71, I ain't working till 71, I'm trying to retire at 40, I ain't working till 71.